What Makes Day and Night by Franklin M. Branley Illustrated by Arthur Doros So Arthur Doros is the illustrator. He drew the pictures. Franklin Branley is the author. He wrote the words. The topic of this book is going to answer the question that the title asks us. What makes day and night? We all live on the earth. The Earth is our planet. It is round like a big ball, and it is spinning, or turning, or rotating. Spin, turn, and rotate all mean the same thing. It's hard to believe that the Earth is always turning because we don't feel any motion. This is because the Earth spins smoothly, always at the same speed. This is a photograph of the Earth. It was taken by a camera aboard the Apollo 17 spacecraft. You can see that the Earth is round. If you were way out in space and watching the Earth, you would see it spin. The Earth spins around once in 24 hours. Light from the sun falls on one half of the spinning Earth. The half in the light has day. The other half is dark. It's in the Earth's shadow. That half has night. As the earth spins, we move through the light into the darkness and back again. We have day and night. We're going to imagine that we're on a spaceship high above the North, North Pole. Imagine that we could stay there for 24 hours and watch the earth make one complete turn. We're going to look at what it would look like here and here the other side that we can't see right now, and then back around to here. So imagine this is the North Pole and we're looking down at the Earth. As the Earth turns, we have sunrise, daylight, sunset, and night. Later, because the Earth is turning, see those people? It's very hard to see them. See them? Those are the people that had sunset. It was just beginning to get light, but the earth kept spinning. And now those people, it's bright. It's noon. Because the earth is turning, they are now over here, and it's the middle of the day for them. The sun is high in the sky. It's noontime. The earth keeps spinning. It keeps turning, and it carries them all the way over here. And now they have sunset. By the time that they reach here, it is the middle of the night for them. It's midnight. At the end of 24 hours, they would have their sunrise again. You can see how we move from daylight to darkness by doing an experiment. You will be the earth and a lamp would be the sun. So if the sun is facing the earth, which it always is because the sun's in the middle, the earth only gets light on half of it. That half has day. The half that does not get lit up, it's in the shadows. That's the side that has nighttime. If that boy turned like the earth does, the other half would get the sun and be day. It takes turns. So you could stand so that your left side is towards the lamp and hold your arms out all the way. Your left hand points towards the lamp, and that would be sunrise. If you kept your feet in the same spot and turned, and kept your arms out from your sides and turned to your left, now the lamp would be in front of you, and it would be the middle of the day. It would be noon. You could keep turning until your right hand pointed towards the lamp. Your feet are still in the same place. You're turning away from the light. It's sunset. And if you kept turning until your back was towards the lamp, it would be night. But your back would be in the daylight. The half of you is always light and the half is always dark. And it's the same with the earth. That's an experiment that you can do at home. The earth is always turning. It never stops. Round and round it goes. And it goes very fast. About 1,000 miles an hour. As the earth turns, we are always moving from day to night and from night to day. 
you can see this happen. If you are awake very early, you can see sunrise. The earth is moving you toward the sun. The earth keeps turning. Later in the day, we begin to turn away from the sun and you can see sunset. About 24 hours after sunrise, the sun will rise again. It all happens because the earth is spinning around. As the earth turns, the sun seems to move across the sky. Sunrise, noon, sunset. If you were on the moon, you would also have day and night, but the moon spins very slowly, so days and nights are long. Places on the moon have two weeks of daylight and then two weeks of darkness. During one night on the moon, the earth spins around 14 times. The turning earth gives us about 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of darkness. That seems just about right for all of us on the planet earth. 